Edmonton, the fight over Alberta oil coming to British Columbia has now escalated into a wine war. Alberta Premier Rachel Notley announced Tuesday that Alberta is banning wine from BC wineries effective immediately. This is one good step to waking BC up to the fact that they can't attack our industry without a response from us, Notley said at a legislature news conference. The Alberta Gaming and Liquor Control Board will put an immediate halt to the import of BC wine into Alberta. She said in 2017, there were 17.2 million bottles imported, the equivalent of about 1.4 million cases, with an estimated value of $70 million per year for BC wineries. The wine industry is very important to BC, not nearly as important as the energy industry is to Alberta and Canada but important nonetheless, said Notley. I'm also encouraging all Albertans next time you're thinking about ordering a glass of wine, think of our energy workers. Think of your neighbors. Think of our community. Think about our province, and maybe choose some terrific Alberta craft beer instead. The wine ban is the latest move in a growing dispute over the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion that would carry more Alberta oil sands bitumen to the BC coast. The $7.4 billion project, approved in November 2016 by the federal government, would triple capacity on the 1,150 km line, which runs from Edmonton to Burnaby. It's the linchpin component of Alberta's fight to get a better overseas price for its oil, which is currently being sold at a discount on the North American market while the province racks up budget deficits over $10 billion. Last week, BC Premier John Horgan's NDP government announced it is looking at rules to limit any increase in the import of diluted bitumen until an independent panel can better analyze whether the system is safe and if it can adequately deal with a spill disaster. Horgan has said the issue is about the BC government's responsibility to keep the coastline and inland waterways safe. Notley conceded the ban on BC wine may violate interprovincial free trade rules but said they are moving ahead anyway. I honestly wish it did not have to be this way, she said. We don't take this lightly. Albertans didn't want or invite this fight. This is the second trade retaliation announced by Notley. Last week, she suspended talks to purchase electricity from BC, a deal that would be worth $500 million a year to BC. We did play by the rules and we secured the approval of a new pipeline to Tidewater to export energy products that support tens of thousands of jobs across this country, Notley said. Alberta will not stand by and be the only province impacted by another province's refusal to play by the rules. The federal government has control over the cross-boundary pipelines, and Notley has called BC's attempt to hinder the expansion an unconstitutional attempt to get around federal approval of the project. Notley said the federal government has tools to resolve the impasse and said she will continue to push Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on it. We are actively preparing measures to get Ottawa to step up and BC to back down, said Notley.